Welcome back to the Sioux Samurai Show. We're joined now by the head coach, Sioux Samurai, and coach, an impressive season thus far. The way that you guys have won, the teams that you've won, the players, the way that they're playing. When you look back at everything so far, what really stands out to you? Well, I think what stands out the most to me is that we have so many new players and they've found a way to blend together and create a chemistry that's been effective on the floor. That was, I think, my biggest question mark going in was how are these new players going to come together so quickly? And uh, they've been astounding. Yeah, it's really been working. You guys are top ten in the nation. Now, you said you're not satisfied, though. How do you stay hungry when you, you see yourself just climbing the rankings week in and week out? Well, we never look at the rankings, so that, that's a big part of it. Uh, you know, we look at the product on the floor. We look at who we are and who we can become. And I think it's important for us to keep our goals in front of us and not what other people's opinions are. Uh, and that's what the rankings are, is really other people's opinions. Non-conference play always gets you prepared for your conference play. And it really seems that your play has not dropped off since non-conference. How much did that part of the season really help you guys here in the ACC play? Well, again, I go back to our development as a team and our identity and who we wanted to be. All of that was critical in the non-conference that we spent time developing that. Into the conference play, you want to be playing better and better and better. And that's something that we've been able to uh, keep our players hungry, and they are not satisfied. They want to be a better basketball team. You take down in the ACC play, you take down number two team at that point, Notre Dame, to the wire. You take down a number four team, Louisville. You take down a number 14 team, Duke. So many impressive wins already, but a lot more. We still have half an ACC conference play to play. What can fans expect as we move forward? Well, I think you can expect a team that stays hungry, a team that really wants to get better. You know, we don't, again, look at those rankings and what they're ranked. We look at the, the two pr the products on the floor, whether it be our, the opponent and ourselves. And we want to find ways to uh, attack the opponent with who we are, but we also want to find ways that we can become a better basketball team. When you look at it, the home crowds that you've had for that Louisville game, for the Duke game, and the way that the rules have kind of changed now for the NCAA tournament, the top 16 teams have the opportunity to host. You guys are right there right now. How important would it be for this team to be able to host, and not only that, but to have the crowds that like those games you've had? Well, I think it's important that when we're talking about a top 10 program, we're not talking about being ranked in the top 10. We're talking about a program. And part of that is having a strong fan base and a fan base that is loyal, a fan base that loves what we do and helps build what we're building. And I, I think that that's happening here in Tallahassee. I think it's important that it continues to happen if we want to have uh, even more success than we've had yet. Lastly, before we let you go, you, you said you guys don't look at the rankings, but how do you keep them grounded? I mean, you, you just keep having success after success. It's hard not to get you know, caught up in those big wins. How do you keep your team grounded? Well, you know, I've been doing this for 18 years, so <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's not that big a deal. Uh, for me when we have a big win. It's, uh, it's such a seasonal approach. And so to have a seasonal approach, you have to look at the next game. You, you, know, you put that behind you as champions aren't built by the fact that you beat a team yesterday. You've got to go and do it time after time again. And I think our players hear that and have bought into that and really truly believe that. Well, it's been fun so far. Looking forward to the rest of the season. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Jonathan. That's head coach Sue Semrau.